Hello grade 12s, welcome to our channel once again. My name is Velilene Nkosi. In this video, we are answering a previous question paper under the topic genetics. The questions are based on paternity test using blood group and using DNA profiles. So here are the questions. Question paper is for life sciences. Here's the question is for life sciences from the Department of Basic Education. So if you want to post the video, maybe want to answer these questions, you can stop the video here and try to work on these questions. So this will help you how far are you with genetics. So he, this is these are the questions. This is the information. Uh, without wasting more time, let's get to it. question goes like a family wanted to identify the biological father of a boy the mother of the boy is known blood groups and dna profiles of the mother the boy and two males were used to determine paternity the data below shows the result of the two procedures so here two procedures were taken and then procedure of comparing blood groups and procedure of comparing DNA profiles. So uh, let's analyze the result. Uh, the blood groups of the mother is blood type O. And then we know the genotype for blood type O. It's small letter I and the small letter I. This is the genotype for blood type O. And then the blood type of the boy is blood type B. Then the genotype for blood type B, it's allele for blood type B and then allele for blood type O and then another genotype of the blood type B it's allele for blood type B and allele for blood type B but this one is eliminated because the mother have homozygous recessive therefore this boy must get one from his mother so we cannot use this one this one is eliminated and then now let's get to male one male one uh, has a blood type ab so the genotype for blood type ab is allele for blood type a and the allele for blood type b so this is the genotype for blood type ab and then let's get to male two and uh, male two which is blood type b and then the genotype will be allele for blood type b and the allele for blood type o again it's allele for blood type B and then allele for blood type B. So this is the possible genotypes of the male too. Then if you see the result here, uh, none of this male is eliminated or none of this male has been confirmed. Then we have to use DNA profile. Now we let's analyze the DNA profile. And then the best way to use the DNA profile is to get a ruler then when you get the ruler you will compare this band like this is the mother's band this information is for mother and the information for the boy information for the male one and male two therefore to get the result we must compare this band or match this band if they match then there is a high possibility of being the biological parent so let me show you how we compare the bands. Let me get the ruler. Here I have a ruler. I hope you can see. And then we use the band from the boy. Then we compare with other people. Now let's start with the band of the boy and the man. So here we will use this one. And then this one, when we compare with this one of this mat, this one are not matching. So they do not match. This one is thin. And this one is a little bit thick. So they did not match. Then we go down. We, we're looking at the boy band. So here we've got the band. Here we've got the band. If you see this one, they match. So if they match, then we can draw the line to show that these ones, they match. And then we go again, go down. And then we've got the thinnest, the one of the thin band here. They are also matching. Then we'll draw the line again to tell that they are matching. And then go down. 
looking at the boys bend and then this one and this one this one is thick while this one is a little bit thin then they do not match then got this one this one and this one they match so we'll draw the line to show that they match and then we go down again so we have to focus on the boy bend because we want to find the biological pattern of the boy this one here is empty it's not matching and then go again while this one is this one is thin from the mother side and the one this one is a little bit thick and then the last one the last ones they match so this one and that one they match we will draw a line so we have four bent matches with the mother and then that is mean we left with one two three four so we have to find the match from this four all these four they must match if all these four matches that with a particular male here that male it's a biological father then now let's compare then let's get the ruler this one did not match then this one and this one they match and then we can draw a line to show that this one's match and then the one another one that did not match with the mother is this one and then this one again does match with this one which is male too and then another one that did not match is this one so this one has matched with both males then i will draw a line to pass through then now we are left with one band and we have another band here it has matched with male two so now uh, if you can see the remaining bands that were not matched with mother's band they match with male two therefore that is mean male two is the biological father that's how we, we, we work with DNA profile so you need to match this a ruler it says uh, it's a simple way matching this band so we find that male 2 is the biological father therefore let's get to the questions question number one say explain why paternity of the boy could not be established using blood type O so the reason why we can we cannot use blood type only it's because if you can see the genotype of this boy, it's allele for blood type B and the allele for blood type O. And then if he got this blood type O from his mother, and then we left with blood type B, which he got it from his father. And then we find that all these men, they have blood type B. So we will not know who is the father because both males have blood type B then we cannot find we cannot just assume which one is there is the father so both men have blood type B then to answer this question uh, I will write it in simple way so 2.3.1 we can say the boy mother genotype is homologous recessive So, because the boy mother genotype is homologous recessive, then the boy inherited one recessive allele from his mother. Then this is another reason. You can say the boy inherited one recessive allele from his mother. Because if you see the genotype of the boy, he have one re the recessive allele. So, he got it from his mother and then the dominating allele is from his father then so the dominating allele is from his father while the dominating allele is allele for blood type b and then both men they have blood type they have the allele for blood type b therefore both male genotype have dominating allele so both males have allele for blood type B if you see here we've got all these males they have blood type B then that is mean both males could be the father
So both males could be the father because uh, they both have the allele for blood type B while the boy have a blood type B. So we cannot finalize who is the real father by using only the blood type groups. So these are the reasons. Uh, if you write it like this, you will get all these five marks because you have explained why we cannot find the real father by using only blood type group or blood groups. Then go to the next question. The next question say, who is the biological father of the boy according to the DNA profile? And then we have matched here. I've showed you with these lines. I've drawn these lines using a ruler. Then these ones they match with the male too. So the biological father is the male too. So male too is the biological father. So the next question and uh, next question say, explain your answer to question 2.3.2. Now you have to explain why you say male too is the biological father. Then to explain this, you can see the four bands of the boy matches with that of his mother. So here we've got four bands, one, two, three, four. They matches with that of the mother. And then the remaining four matches with male two. Then that is why male two is the father. So here on 2.3.3, you can see four bands of the boy matches with the one of his mother. And then the remaining four matches with male two then that is why we say male two is the real father so if you see male one we have the ones that are not match only one or one only one band has met so few has matched with male one but male two all four remaining matches with male two then that is mean male two is the real father then the last thing you can say the remaining bands match with that of a male two So that is the reason why we say male two is the real father. Four bands of the boy matches with that of the mother. And then the remaining bands matches with that of the male two. So that is mean male two is the biological father. Then the next question, the next question says state one other use of DNA profiling. So here we have to state what other use of DNA profiling. A DNA profiling can be used to tracing missing person. Can be used in tracing missing person. Can be used to identify of genetic disorder. It can be used to establish family relation. Can be used to identify criminals. So there are many ways that the DNA profiling can be used. So this is the last question. So if you want to maybe see the memorandum, so here I have, I have the memorandum. This is the memorandum from the department. And this is the question paper. You can post the video here, then see the memorandum and compare it with your answer. If you have posted the video, wanted to see the, the memorandum. So here is the memorandum. So if you have watched this video to this far, thank you very much. If you find value in this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you are studying, say good luck with your studies. God bless you. Thank you very much.